guys, how are y'all doing today? My name is Franchise Fanatic and welcome back to the channel. And today we have a few guys is another uh, review. Today we're tackling Lego Star Wars of the Complete Saga, the video game review. Now, uh, if you guys have of course been watching my channel, I did a complete let's play of this game. I did all the levels and uh, a few bonus missions and I also explored the tour or the hub which was um, the cantina and it was really really fun. Now, I said I do a review yesterday, I didn't have enough time, so today I'm doing this review, sorry that's a day late, but here it is, and uh, I have to say, this was the, now this technically isn't the first Lego game by TT Games, Traveler's Tales, um, Lego Star Wars the video game was the first one back in 2005, and then in 2006, they did Lego Star Wars 2, the original trilogy, and then in 2007, they did the Complete Saga, which is those two games from 2005 and 2006 combined into the Complete Saga, which is, you know, all six movies in the complete saga. Uh, but it's not so complete now because we have the Skywalker saga, and I'll get to that in the end of the video. But uh, I'm just going to re refer to the complete saga as the first Lego game, just so there's no confusion. Yes, it is the first two Lego games ever combined in one, but I'm just going to say that's what it is, just to, again to avoid confusion and saying things all over again. Um, so this first Lego game, um, let me just start by saying that I am probably the biggest fan of Traveler's Tales. I know all about their company, all about the people that work there, um, and I'm an adult. So, uh, for those of you who think that Lego games are for kids, sod off. They're not. They're for all ages, especially older audiences, because they can enjoy it more. They can enjoy the Easter eggs. They can enjoy the fun and laid back action and puzzles and exploration and collect-a-thon that these games are. Now... Uh, I have every single Lego game, except for Lego Rock Band, because uh, I don't have the instrument for that anymore. And I do have Bionicle Heroes, which I think is the worst Lego game of all time. However, um, if you want me to do a video on that, I will. Just saying. Um, but yeah, so going into this first Lego, first Lego game um, by Traveler's Tales, uh, it really is a masterpiece. Now, again, if you were to, uh, you know, say, okay, let's compare Lego Star Wars Complete Saga to Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens or Complete Saga to Lego Worlds, or Complete Saga to City Undercover, or Complete Saga to Marvel 2, whatever you want to do. Of course it's going to be garbage, right? Every Lego game keeps getting bigger and better, and the Skywalker Saga is no different. However, if you look at the Complete Saga on its own, is this the holy grail of Lego games like everyone is saying? No. Um, again, on its own, it is a brilliant game. It's fantastic, it's fun for all ages, it's really, really cool. But, in the grand scheme of things, this is not my favorite LEGO game. Uh, it's one of them, for sure, but it's nowhere near the top. Um, I think a lot of people are saying that it's their favorite because of nostalgia, and I'll admit, I had this game when I was a kid, too. I had massive amounts of hours played, and I still do. Um, all LEGO games I, I play, massive amount of hours of. But, um, you know, it, it's not perfect. Um, for its own thing, I would say that it is. So... You know, you know what you're getting into. You have the all six movies, the first three and the last three, uh, Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones, Revenge of the Sith, New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi, all in glorious Lego form. Now, each uh, movie has six levels and a bonus level where you can do super stories and all that. Um, again, if you've seen my walkthroughs, you know what I'm talking about. just want to say that anyway. Um, each movie has six titles, of course. You can do, uh, as I just said, you can do the cutscenes. You can, like, in the, in the Cantina Hub... Which, again, is so, 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 so small compared to, you know, what we have now with stuff like uh, even the Force Awakens game, the one that I'm playing now for you guys. Hope you're enjoying that. Um, you know, you get these, like, five, I think, five hubs, like Jakku and Starkiller Base and the Millennium Falcon. And even those hubs are massive, you know, even compared to LEGO Worlds, which is an infinite game. Um, so, yeah, needless to say, Complete Saga is very small. However, I do have to kind of review this, like I said before viewing it as 2007, viewing it as, uh, you know, as if none of the other ones exist, because that's what you have to do with movies and video games. You can't go, oh, that movie was better than that movie. You have to know, no, this movie is good or bad. And this game is very, very good. However, if we were to do the grand scheme, it would not be my favorite. But there really isn't much to hate. I mean, this game is the groundwork for every game TT Games and TT Fusion has done uh, for, like, these, what, 20, 30-some games? And... Finally, Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga is, you know, changing up the formula. Now, I love the formula. Uh, so really, when I just said finally, I don't really mean finally. I mean like, oh, they're finally doing it. I don't need it. A lot of people are complaining, oh, every Lego game is the theme. You play one, you play them all. And I, I, I don't get that. I really don't. You know, I, I just think that's ignorant and stupid, to be completely honest. 
Um, I don't normally say that your opinion is wrong. I normally view everyone's opinion as that, your view, you respect it. But that's just wrong. I mean, LEGO Star Wars Complete Saga follows the groundwork. You know, you have the levels, you have the tiny hub, which of course evolves into huge hubs and open worlds. You have the fun humor that all ages can enjoy, you know, kids and adults and teens. Um, you know, you have everything that's in there, the collectibles, the mini kits, the studs, uh, the replayability is through the roof. I mean, when this game came out, they were like, oh, wait a minute, I can take Emperor Palpatine and put him in Phantom Menace. Or I could have Darth Maul, who was only in Episode One: Phantom Menace at that time, before Clone Wars and all that, now he's back, of course. Uh, well, now he's dead, if you've seen Rebels. But anyway, you know, when, when he was still dead, you could take a dead character like Maul and put him in, you know, A New Hope. Or play through the, the final fight scene of Revenge of the Sith with Anakin and um, Obi-Wan Kenobi on Mustafar. As Darth Maul, or as General Grievous, or as Padme. As, you know, even lesser known characters, like just random Gungan generals. That is awesome, you know? And the fact that each LEGO game does that now is brilliant. But... Again, going to that argument where they say they're all the same, it's just, that's BS. It really is. It's full bricks. Uh, it's bantha fodder. Because really, every game is the same by that argument. Every Call of Duty is the same. Every Assassin's Creed is the same. Every GTA, every racing game, every shooter, every anything is the same. If you have a good formula, stick to it, but change it a little bit. And that's what the LEGO games do best. Each game follows the same main structure, right? Smashing and bashing, collecting studs, mini kits, open world, you know the deal. However, they do it, they tweak it in such a way every single game where it feels fresh. And I get it, if you think every LEGO game is a little the same, I can agree with you because they are, but then again, every game is like that. So when people say, oh, LEGO games are the same, but every Call of Duty game is completely different, it's like, oh, they're not. You shoot terrorists. That's what you do. Sure, you have new maps, new guns, new campaign mode, except for Black Ops 4, new zombies, except for, you know, some of them. But it's the same formula. LEGO games follow the same formula, but it's not tired. It's actually really reinvent, uh, reinventing and reinvigorating if you play through each LEGO game. So that argument to me is just non-void. But going to this, it started off so strong with Complete Saga. And no wonder, because after the success of Complete Saga, Warner Brothers bought out TT Games. And now, look at that. We've got Hobbit, Indiana Jones, Harry Potter, Marvel, DC, LEGO Movie, LEGO Ninjago Movie, Dimensions, which is like Toys to Life, City Undercover, which is the all-ages accessibility of GTA, LEGO Worlds, which in my opinion is a better Minecraft. There's so many things out there that stemmed from the Complete Saga. And no wonder, because it's a great game. I really don't have that many negatives to say about it, other than... I mean, the graphics, honestly, they don't look aged. They actually look pretty good. Now, of course, comparing them to, like, LEGO City or The Force Awakens, no comparison. But if you honestly play this game, and you're like, wow, 2007? That's pretty damn good. And even if you look at Grand Theft Auto 4, GTA 4 came out in 2008. And it was, like, revolutionary for the time, right? Now, in my opinion, GTA 4 looks like crap. Too dark, too textury, too muddy, too whatever. I don't like it. Um, I love the game. It's a great game. But it just doesn't look good. LEGO Star Wars Complete Saga came out a year before that. And in 2019, almost 2020, it looks so good. And it's just incredible that every game, you know, uh, they're able to update these things. And that's, I think, what TT Games does best. They update things. Every single game. Yes, you're still collecting studs. Yes, you're doing this, you're doing that. But with Harry Potter, you had, you know, wizard mechanics, dimensions, toys to life. The toy pad was a controller, essentially. Like a world's brick build, whatever you want, and explore endless worlds. Make your own worlds. Uh, the Lego Movie 2 video game. Even though the Lego Movie 2 video game got a lot of crap. And yes, I'll admit it, if you want to go watch my review, it's up there for the Lego Movie 2 video game. It's not the best Lego game. However, it's still really good. It's just a little bit shy of perfection. This game, however, it's, it's perfection. The Lego Star Wars Complete Saga. But is it the best one? No. But when you look at it on its own, really freaking good. I mean, again, you've got those levels. You've got the uh, collectibles. You have the studs. You have the cutscenes you can rewatch. You have the, the characters, the funny moments. If you're a Star Wars fan and you have not played LEGO Star Wars Complete Saga, get it out of your head that it's too old. Get it out of your head that it's for children. It's not. It's for everyone. Please enjoy it. I love this game, and I'm so glad that it's backwards compatible. It's such a good game. And again, it paved the way, uh, the brick way, I get the brick road, to, um, you know, every other LEGO game that came after it. And that's what's awesome. You know, every year we have a new Call of Duty, essentially, or a new Assassin's Creed, or a new uh, racing game, a new puzzle game. But the LEGO games, to me, they're the most fresh. Because you can tell when you watch these interviews, if you were to watch an interview, 
they're, they're just so passionate, you know. With Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, if you watch Arthur Parsons and James McLaughlin, the people who, you know, make it, um, they're just so passionate. They love Star Wars. And, you know, there are people... Well, let me just sum it up this way. There are Star Wars fans who are like me, and then there are Star Wars fans who are not like me, who trash it. And I always say there's nothing worse than a Star Wars fan. You know, Star Wars fans are shit. Unless you're a Star Wars fan. Now let me let me quickly, because I'm still reviewing the game, let me just quickly tell you. A Star Wars fan is like me. I love the games, I love the movies, I love the canon, I love the comics, I love the animated shows. I love everything. That does not mean I'm biased. I may love everything Star Wars, but I might not, you know, I do have problems with it. I have a few, like, I'm going to be doing uh, all my Star Wars films uh, review in December to lead up to The Rise of Skywalker. And I'll admit it, I love the prequels. I don't give them A pluses, but I still love them. So there's a difference between me and a Star Wars fan, right? And I'm sure many of you who are watching me are Star Wars fans. You guys love Star Wars, you're happy with it. And then there are Star Wars fans who hate movies like The Last Jedi. Now, if you don't like The Last Jedi, that's fine. But when I do my Last Jedi review in December, I'm going to review it. But, sorry if you hear that, it's my phone. But it's also just going to completely wreck everything that's going on. And then, of course, you get to the fact that they're, those, those Star Wars fans trash everything. They love to hate it. It's like a Call of Duty fan. They love to hate Call of Duty. So it's a big, it's a big cycle. Hopefully, most of you guys are Star Wars fans. I have no doubt about that. So, again, Lego Star Wars Complete Saga, for a Star Wars fan like me who loves Star Wars, if you love the franchise and you love Lego games and you haven't played this one or something, please play it. It's freaking amazing. Uh, again, it's fun for all ages if you love Star Wars. I love it to death. There's really nothing I can say wrong with it. There's no game-breaking glitch. There's no, you know, lag. There's no bad graphics. No muddy textures. Um, you know, for the time, at least. Now, yeah, but, you know, I have to look at it as in 2007. But, yeah, I love this game. I mean, from the levels... To the, the hub world, even though it's super duper small, you have this replayability, and it's just fun. No wonder why, you know, LEGO Star Wars Complete Saga made all these other LEGO games, because it's just so freaking good. So, of course, I'm going to give LEGO Star Wars Skywalker, or, yeah, Skywalker Saga, I wish, LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga an A+. I love it. There's virtually nothing wrong with it, and it's fun for everyone. So, if you have played it, please tell me what you think in the comments below. And also, hopefully, if you have not played it, please play it. And if you have played it, I played it. Um, also, check out my channel if you have not already, because I did a full walkthrough, and right now I'm currently working on LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens. I love that game as well. Once I finish Force Awakens, which is going to be a while from now, but once I finish it on the channel, I will be reviewing that as well. And then I'm also going to play LEGO Star Wars 3 The Clone Wars, and that should be pretty cool as well, and of course I'll review that, all leading up to the Skywalker Saga. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry for I went a little off the tracks, but I kind of had to say a few things. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you enjoyed the game. If not, tell me. We'll chat. I won't discard your opinion. Unless it's just stupidity, which, come on, my viewers aren't stupid. You guys are cool. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Make sure to hit the like icon, subscribe for more, and hit the bell icon so you, don't get, uh, so you do get notified. And we'll see you guys in the next video.